Hey, welcome back to the channel. Do you want to know if you may be an Enneagram 9? Or have you taken the test but are still a little unsure? Or do you know an Enneagram 9? Family member, friend, or client and want to understand them better? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to reveal what it's like to be a Type 9. And make sure to watch till the end because I'm going to share one characteristic that just may surprise you. Hi, I'm Tyler Zock, pastor, Enneagram coach, author of the 40-day Gospel for Enneagram devotional series, and your personal guide to helping you transform your life, relationships, and workplace by giving you spot-on truths for your type. So keep watching if you want to feel seen, understood, and challenged to let go of the things that are keeping you stuck in your personal and professional life. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, please, so that you don't miss more free content coming up next week. Now, let's get to it. Nines are oftentimes called the peacemakers uh, or mediators. They fear being in conflict more than any other number. They're good mediators of conflict, but they don't like being in conflict. They also fear being loveless, uh, invisible, shut out, uh, or just being in any inharmonious situation, right? They love harmony. They have a desire to have inner stability and peace of mind. So their focus is mostly on the expectations of others. Uh, they want to do what's asked of them so that they can keep the peace. Uh, their idol is harmony. So harmony is a good thing, but they can idolize it to the point where they won't speak up in fear of creating conflict. Okay, They avoid conflict and separation at all costs. Anger or disagreement oftentimes to the nine feels like uh, separation. And so they want to do whatever they can to avoid that. Their vice is sloth, which is really a desire to be unaffected by life and an unwillingness to be fully awake to their desires, needs, abilities, and sort of resisting to bring their full selves to all of life. So it's really the sloth is... Uh, it's a unwillingness to become fully alive, to assert yourself, to bring your full self uh, to the boardroom, uh, to your career, to your family, and stand up for what you believe and to share your convictions and to be awake, to be fully alive. Uh, so the virtue is right action uh, and engagement in the world. Nines are easygoing, friendly, and very likable. The joke is that if you can't get along with a nine, it's not their fault, it's your fault, right? Because they're so easy to get along with. They have a calm, optimistic, and soothing, almost zen-like presence. Uh, they are gentle, approachable, and unthreatening. Uh, they enjoy supporting others rather than being in the spotlight. I love that about my nine friends. They're, they don't have any ego at all. Don't want to jump in in, uh, in front of the camera, right? They just love just coming behind you and supporting you. Uh, they typically go along to get along, uh, which is a great characteristic uh, that they're just so easily flexible and adaptable, but not if they're just always just doing what other people want them to do. Uh, nines are down to earth, kind of what you see is what you get kind of person. Uh, for, a, for a three like me, sometimes we can wear masks uh, and we can sort of shape shift and become different kinds of people, uh, whoever people want us to be. But for nines, they're not usually wearing a mask. They're what you see is what you get. Um, and so you know exactly who they are. Nines fear they may lose someone or be separated some, from someone because of conflict or disagreement. And so that's something that nines need to remember is that when you disagree with someone, even if it leads to conflict, that's not a bad thing because it ha conflict has the potential to have you grow closer with someone, to, to cultivate intima intimacy with someone, right? Always agreeing with them, never sharing your convictions, that's a false sense of intimacy, all right? So nines need to lean in more and be di more disagreeable. Uh, for nines, they fear being invisible, like I mentioned before. So they love when people call on them and say, hey, what do you think about this? Uh, give me your opinion on this, 
right? They love to know that their opinion and presence is valuable and matters, but it is painful when others overlook or exclude them uh, from conversations or projects because nines are includers, right? They are the ones who invite everyone to the table. They are the ones who are inclusive, who say everyone's voice and opinion matters here. So when others don't treat them in that same way, it can be very frustrating. Uh, nines need to be acknowledged, right? Acknowledged by their loved ones, acknowledged by their boss. And if they're not, it can lead to conflict or passive aggressiveness or anger. Nines fear and self-doubt have led them to play it safe rather than take risks. Okay, this is a big one, is that an unhealthy nine will always be playing it safe. But when they lean into that virtue of right action, they will take risks, they will take steps of faith and overcome that fear and self-doubt. Nines can unify groups that are very diverse or experiencing conflict. Or this is one of the superpowers of a nine is their ability to see everyone's point of view. Like uh, sometimes nines have a hard time taking their Enneagram test because they score high on every number because they can see the world through other people's lenses. This is a superpower. So when it comes to conflict in the office or their family, they're the best at saying, hey, this is where this person is coming from. This is where this person is coming from. Do you guys see each other's side? Right? So they're, they have the ability to bring people who are very disconnected, who are disagree, disagreeing with one another, who are in conflict, um, maybe come from different backgrounds, um, to bring them together to find unity. Okay, uh, they, That's why they are called the peacemakers. Uh, nines can get distracted and procrastinate. Uh, nines have a hard time prioritizing. Right? They, it's, the sloth side of their vice doesn't mean that they're lazy. Oftentimes nines are very busy and they're moving from one thing to another, accomplishing tasks, getting into their routines, uh, but they have a hard time prioritizing. Everything seems of equal importance. And so sometimes they can get distracted and go from one thing to the next, feeling like they're accomplishing things, but they're really avoiding the big rocks that matter that they need to get done. Uh, nines have a hard time getting started but once they do, they are unstoppable, right? It's like a flywheel. That It takes a lot of energy to get that flywheel moving at first. But once they get the flywheel moving, nines are on a roll and they can get a lot of stuff done and they look like threes in health, the, the achievers. And so they can accomplish quite a bit when they get going. But it takes a little while to get going sometimes. Uh, nines rarely express their anger openly, uh, but want to scream in a closet sometimes, Okay, nines, again, um, it's like a breaker, you know, in your house, a breaker box when there's too much electricity and the breaker blows. When, when nines, nines start to feel the anger rising up, it's like a, a fuse gets uh, blown and then their anger subsides. It's like they want to get angry, but they don't feel like they have the ability or they don't have the permission to get angry because it'll just cause conflict, which is what they don't want. They want peace. And so... They, they hold this anger deep down and sometimes they're asleep to it, but oftentimes they want to go into a closet and just scream because the anger is still there. And so nines have to work on uh, paying attention to their anger, journaling about their anger, and then expressing their frustration or disagreement with others uh, to be healthy. Um, so nines need to be more direct and more assertive. Otherwise, they're going to be passive aggressive and hold that anger in and avoid people uh, or avoid doing what needs to be done. For nines, having routines is very comforting. Uh, so I, I have a nine friend that likes to run a lot. Uh, nines can go to the gym or do yoga. And I would say, lastly, that nines sometimes forget how important they are. Like nines, you are so important. You may feel invisible, but you are so important to the team. You are so important to the family. You are thoughtful. Um, you are insightful. And we need to hear your voice more. Okay? So remember, nines, you are important. Don't sell yourself short. Stand up for yourself. Okay? Now, I said that there's one characteristic that just may surprise you at the beginning. And here it is. Is that though nines are extremely nice like the nicest personality, they can be the most stubborn of all the types. If they don't want to do something uh, or they want to do something, 
Like they are like elephants that are impossible for other people to move. Okay, so it's an interesting dynamic that nines are typically go with the flow, but if, if, if a boss wants a nine to do something or a spouse wants a nine to do something, like they will, they can be like elephants that are impossible to budge, impossible to persuade, right? So they can be stubborn and they can be one of the most strongest personalities uh, on the Enneagram. My advice for nines is to rock the boat, okay? To be assertive, right? If you are frustrated, nines, speak your mind. If it starts with a conflict, don't worry. Like I said, why should the response of other people dictate what you do or don't do in your life? Like why give people or hand people that sort of power over you, right? So rock the boat. It's going to be okay. Even if it leads to conflict, like we mentioned, conflict can actually bring you closer to somebody in the long run if it's resolved, right? You, you are important. Your voice is important. So stand up for yourself today, okay? Remember, rock the boat. So let me ask, did this video help to know if you're type nine? If so, leave a comment below. I'd love to chat. And if you want to learn more, make sure to read my book, The Gospel for Peacemakers. It's a 40-day devotional for type nines, and it's, it's a deep dive into all things type nine. And so I'd love for you to go check that out. I know it'll bless you. Um, it's just a, a gift of encouragement from me to you. So check the link down below uh, to my books to, to go grab a copy of that. And if you like the content of this video today, make sure to hit the like button to tell YouTube to share it with more people. I would really appreciate that. And thanks for watching as always. I'm here to help you reach your God-given potential and avoid burnout, breakups, and blowups that are all too common for your type. So whether you're a seasoned Enneagram coach or brand new to the Enneagram, keep watching this channel because you're bound to experience many aha moments right here. Now, check out these videos on the screen to keep learning, to keep growing as you learn about other Enneagram types. And I'll see you in the next video.